there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. You found them? Yeah, but the thing is, their entire campsite is wrecked. What happened? Honestly, it, it looks like it could have been a bear. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I, I need to be honest with you. If I find a dead body out here, I'm going to be sick. Well, don't yak. Just look around and let me know what you find. Actually, you've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. I'll take care of their fire. That would be great, as always. Entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. Looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what it says. gone for sure well what's it say threatening to call the police because they think i attacked them oh my god well did you Look, i didn't do anything to them but it looks like someone had it out for them then why do they think it's you fuck i don't know huh. hey i don't i believe you come on henry all right all right it's just it's Weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Asking. Because I'm horribly superficial. Do you know Raleigh Fingers? He pitched for the A's? No. 
I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> Ooh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Arr! Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Hmm. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. This afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I'm gonna take your silence as maybe we just don't say anything. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. 
You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and... All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I, <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy.
All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but 
I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new, good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, 